friends, and welcome to day seven of 30 inks in 30 days. Today's ink is Hubble, and I have put it in my Platinum 3776 with a fine nib. So Edwin Powell Hubble, who is often called the father of modern cosmology, was born November 20th, 1889 in Marshfield, Missouri. He grew up playing basketball, football, baseball, track, he boxed, and he also read lots of science fiction novels. He started college at the University of Chicago in 1906 and earned bachelor's degrees in mathematics and astronomy. He then studied law at Oxford as a Rhodes Scholar. This was to please his father. It was a promise he made him. But he returned to his love of science and received his PhD in astronomy from the University of Chicago. Uh, he passed away at the age of 63 on September 28th, 1953. So, so young. So up until the early 1900s, our understanding of the universe really didn't extend past our own Milky Way galaxy. Uh, astronomers speculated that other galaxies did exist in our universe, but it wasn't until Hubble looked at the constellation Andromeda through the Hooker telescope that our understanding really changed. He was able to determine that the fuzzy elongated cloud of light known as Andromeda Nebula actually was composed of individual stars and with further discoveries was able to determine that these stars existed much too far away from us to be a part of our own galaxy. Uh, he studied many more such nebulae and concluded that millions of galaxies existed beyond our own. And so by 1929, he had also concluded that the universe was expanding as well. So he really completely reimagined and revolutionized our place in the cosmos and our understanding of it. And that is really just the whirlwind bare bones tour because he contributed many more um, discoveries and other things, other work than this. And he also had an interesting life, but uh, there was a lot of information out there and I don't think I can do it justice in a in a few minutes. So I've included some links below. So if you're interested, definitely, definitely check it out. With increasing distance, our knowledge fades and fades rapidly. Eventually, we reach the dim boundary, the utmost limits of our telescopes. There, we measure shadows, and we search among ghostly errors and measurement for landmarks that are scarcely more substantial. The search will continue. Not until the empirical resources are exhausted need we pass on to the dreamy realms of speculation. And that is from his work, The Realm of the Nebula. So this is a very pink leaning red. It's almost in the swatch here, I'd say that it really is more pink than red. And it has a really pretty gold sheen. And I really like how it comes out of my uh, fine nib from my 3776. It's super readable, which is not something that I usually find for me with the more pink leaning inks, but this one, this one does a nice job. Once I use up my sample, I don't think that I will 
try and get any more of it, but while I have the sample, I will enjoy using it. And it does remind me a lot of the um, G. Urbain Rouge Hémétite, and that was another ink I actually enjoyed or enjoy using because it's a very readable kind of salmon pink red color. I would put this one in the same category as that. So nice shading, some really nice sheen. I like even with the fine line of the writing here, it has a really nice look. A tiny little bit of sheen is showing up on this swatch card, but again, terrible paper. But the writing, you can see it kind of pools down here at the bottom and you get some color variation, much like on the, the nicer Tomoe River paper. The chromatography is looking nice. Yep, lots of pink up to a darker pink and then there's some orange right there. A very, a very pinky red, almost not red right on that line for me between pink and red. And I like how the splats came out. The sheen really shows up nicely on those. So that is it for today, friends. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I will be back tomorrow for day eight. Bye.